So how do we know that it is a CSF fluid or it is a fluid from the basic allergy from the nose? Hello, I'm Dr. Nasiruddin, consultant head and neck surgeon at Apollo Spectra Hospitals, Kondapur. I'm going to speak about CSF rhinorrhea, which is a CSF leak through the nose. Most of the times, this condition is treated as an allergy by most common practitioners. Patients will have a clear watery discharge coming from the nose whenever they bend down or whenever they do some rigorous activity. This condition is most of the time treated as an allergic rhinitis by giving anti-allergic medications and which doesn't resolve by taking the medications. Patients, they usually come to us after one month or two months of time noticing that is a clear liquid coming from the nose and not resolving even after the medications thinking it is an allergy most of the practitioners they treat it as an allergy initially but once this investigation is done then we get to know that this is nothing but a CSF leak so how do we know that is a CSF leak the most common finding is a clinical finding whenever the patient bends or leans forward the patient will be having a dripping fluid continuously or drop by drop through the nasal passage so how do we know that it is a CSF fluid or it is a fluid from the basic allergy from the nose? So there are a few investigations, laboratory investigations like beta 2 transferrin test, but it takes little longer duration of time for the results to come. The other investigations are imaging techniques, which is called CT or MRI cystinography, in which the dye is injected. We also get to know that how much is the size of the leak from the imaging technique. What is the surgical procedure for the CSF leak? The surgical technique is named as endonasal CSF repair. In this endonasal CSF leak repair, we put a camera which is an endoscopic camera through the nose and identify the leak. The leak is then repaired by a connective tissue which is called a fascia lata which is taken from your leg and which is harvested which is placed inside the area where the leak is coming from. Post procedure, the patient is highly advised to have a complete bed rest not to make excessive movement and patient is advised not to have any constipation. Patient is advised to avoid coughing and any strain work. This surgical technique has involved a lot in the last few recent days. Previously for this procedure, the neurosurgeons used to open up the skull and repair the leak. If you are suffering with the similar conditions and you want to reach us out, I am available at Apollo Spectra Hospitals, Kondapur. Thank you.